Hi, in a recent video we took a look at this Weller WE1010 soldering iron and how it released the magic smoke when accidentally plugged into 240 volts for a 120 volt unit. And after doing a teardown of this, we discovered that it has no primary side mains fuse, and this is insanity. So I asked Weller for an official response, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. But uh, since then, um, Derek over at the uh, Current Source channel, I'll link it in down below, take a look at it. He actually looks at the WES51 iron, which is another, like, a, uh, like an analog uh, control iron here, and he actually takes it apart and unwinds and actually grinds off the transformer and actually opens it up. It's great. And surprise, surprise, no primary side fuse. Exactly like the WE-1010. Nothing, not even a thermal fuse inside the transformer in the windings, which is quite uh, common. So, yeah. <laughs> Like, that's at least two Weller irons, probably more that don't have. I know there are, people have been posting examples of their Weller iron that does have a primary side fuse, so it's, Weller's like a lucky dip, you know? It's like a spontaneous combustion lucky dip of whether or not your iron has that fuse. So I contacted Weller 11 days ago now, and they finally got back to me. I thought, oh yeah, they're like internally panicking and they don't know what to do. And you know, they're coming up with a really good response after all this uh, time. Let's have a look at what their official response is from none, no one less than the vice president of marketing. This is their response. We have, dear sir, I'm Dave from the EEV blog. Just call me Dave, not this sir rubbish. We have seen the video you have posted recently and would like to confirm that the WE1010 has UL, CE and VDE approvals as you are suggesting. We appreciate your interest in the Weller products and we would like for you to have the opportunity to further test the Weller station. So we'd like to offer you a 230 volt unit. Gee, thanks a lot. It is our understanding that you are now based in Australia. I've always been based in Australia. Can you please provide us with your details so we can arrange shipment? We look forward to your next project review, uh, product review and remain at your disposal for any question you might have about the Weller products. Kind regards, the Vice President of, or President, Vice President, I think, of uh, Marketing at Weller. That took them 11 days to come up with their response. Like, <laughs> unbelievable. 11 days to come up with that BS. So it's like, nothing to see here, nothing to see. So I thought they'd at least come out with the usual spiel about Weller are committed to safety and all our irons are, you know, we stand behind and believe in all of our irons and we do it for these reasons and we, some have fuses, some don't, but it's all part of the standard, don't worry about it, she'll be right mate, no worries. And I, I expected something like that, it's just, no, nah, it's got UL approval, bugger off, you know, what are you worried about? Because ultimately I didn't really expect them to admit it was a problem because that's liability and potential like recall territory but I expected you know <laughs> a fair bit more waffle than that um that's yeah that response pretty pathetic so let's just have a quick look at the product page for the WE1010 and if you search for the word safety it actually shows up 20 times on the page so this must be a really safe iron they obviously take safety very seriously so let's have a look and improved enhanced power and performance intuitive controls and improved safety features except a mains fuse safety rest cleaning safety rest again education and training it, it's easy to use and numerous safety features that will help you prevent incidents in the classroom or on the job soldering training <laughs> <laughs> Too bad if there's like a, a mains surge or something happens to break down the insulation on the transformer and then it, uh, you know, under further use it starts to short out and then there's nothing to protect it. Releasing the magic smoke is there. Ah, it's alright. It's only for colleges. Burns down. No worries. 
It's also a good entry-level soldering iron kit, so it's even suitable for hobbyists and do-it-yourself enthusiasts. Its affordability, ease of use, and safety features make it easy for everyone to use with only basic orientation and a review of safety considerations. <laughs> <laughs> Safety! The WE-1010 uh, has numerous features that will reduce potential hazards throughout your workday. Really? Reduce hazards? It features a reinforced safety rest, blah blah blah. The unit is also ESD safe and UL and CE certified for electrical safety. Yeah, there's probably some loophole in the uh, standards, which means that you don't have to put a primary side fuse in. But so all your competition, including the one hung low eBay uh, clones, are just <laughs> just wasting their money putting those primary mains fuses in. You can reduce potential hazards throughout your workday by leaving out that pesky primary fuse. Power supply of 120 volts. The system's power supply equals 120 volts or 60 hertz. <laughs> Just have the 120 volts. Does it work on DC? Well, let's plug DC in there. No worries, right? Because it's optional. It's or the voltage, the low voltage 120 volt soldering iron system increases safety and reliability while providing the power needed to get the job done. How is this a thing? Why? Like who wrote this rubbish? If you want a powerful yet versatile soldering station at an affordable price point, the WE-1010 is hard to beat. With top of the line performance, ease of use, safety features and affordability, it's the perfect soldering solution for a wide range of jobs. Yeah, right. As for sending me a new well of iron, well thanks, but no thanks. I'm not having some bloody random unprotected mains fireball in my lab. Unbelievable doesn't have a primary side fuse, even the cheapest ass one hung low clone ripoffs on eBay soldering irons have primary side fuses. It, it, there's no excuse for it. Half of your irons do and like it looks like a bunch of them don't. Why? Give us some technical reason. This is the EEV blog. I think my audience will understand the technical reasons if you tell us. But no, you just come out with this wank and... You want to give me a new iron? Well, there's only one freaking place that this heap of crap, any iron, any product, really, without a primary size, uh, side fuse belongs, even if it is, does meet the, you know, UL certification. Only one place it belongs, and that's shot in the trash. Transformer, if I toss that in, that's a bit heavy, but... Whoa, that wasn't pretty. The iron, too. So you know where you can shove this? Unbelievable. Catch you next time. Better, as you probably know, is there for quality, technology, and innovation. And we are convinced that this is what we demonstrated once again on the, on the exhibition. We have new products available in all of the space of the soldering um, segment. We've been extremely successful in introducing that to our customers. And actually, if we look back into 2017, we did a great job in achieving double digit growth, which is probably two and a half times what happens in the market out there. So doing great job.